Hey y'all, Clayton Adams with National Trailer Source down in Rose City, Texas. I hope y'all had a happy 4th of July, but there's still some more fireworks. This month we are going to do a red, white, and blue sale, so stay tuned for that or reach out to me if you have any questions. Today we're going to be looking at an SMC Laramie 4 horse, 14 foot short wall with the sofa on the riser. But before we get into it, hey, make sure you are following me on YouTube and Facebook hit the like and subscribe button so that you can stay in touch and know all the new and used inventory that we have coming up. I'd really appreciate that. So starting out with this Laramie, you're gonna have the enclosed hay pod up top, generator box, the trailer is pre-wired for a generator, glassable rear tack, drops on the head and tail with mangers. It's gonna be an eight wide trailer and seven six tall. Hope you like the tour. All right. So starting out, we're gonna have two hydraulic jacks with an enclosed battery box, spare tires, and a propane tank. As we go down the passenger side, you're gonna have that lighted LED awning. You're gonna have those drops on the tail with a load light on top. This trailer will feature 8K axles, just under 12,000 pounds empty, and then 37 feet on the floor. Coming into the horse area, Again, you're gonna have load lights up top. There's that collapsible rear tack, but inside you're gonna have the open airflow dividers, padded dividers with the slam latches, mangers, pop vents, and extra lights inside. Here's gonna be that saddle tree that is adjustable and removable for when you collapse down the tack room. Coming down the driver's side, there's gonna be your easy angle ladder, your mangers, and again, drops on the head. There's a good look at that aluminum extrusion on the outside. All right, so first glance inside of this trailer, you're gonna have that 14 foot living quarter. And I'm gonna come over here and look at this jackknife sofa that is a sleeper. And then this is a good look at the control center, more or less, for everything that's going to be powered on the coach. All right, so up close and personal up here on that queen size bed, you're going to have a USB and a 110 charger on both sides of the bed. And here's a great use of space behind the nose. You're going to have two clothes hanging racks, which is perfect. Now we're gonna take a look at that slide out. Your dinette does break down into a bed as shown above. And then right here, you're gonna have another cabinet with some hanging space inside of it as well. Really well thought out floor plan. Go look at that kitchen. Taking a closer look at the kitchen area, TV overhead, you're gonna have that double bowl sink, a recessed cooktop with a vent, and then a microwave up top and plenty of drawer space. And for you coffee drinkers, there's gonna be a 110 outlet up above. And then here's another look at that cabinet I showed you earlier. Again, two closed hanging racks, or you can use it for storage for food. Inside the bathroom, you're gonna have a good sized vanity with the medicine cabinet, plenty of lighting. And then over here is gonna be that last storage cabinet that you have for towels, for extra clothes, anything like that. And here's a quick look at that radial shower. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. For any of your needs, give me a shout. Clayton Adams, 409-769-7993.